Welcome to 60 Skills. Today's topic is how to beat addiction or change a bad habit. Functionally speaking, addictions can be tricky. For the most part, they seem to be mental or, gener or energetic in nature. However, this is not to discount the fact that there are in fact physical addictions, and physical addictions are quite dangerous. So the mechanics you're going to want to use to get rid of a bad habit or a so-called addiction largely stem through the use of the MALA method and the use of the three releases. Now the use of the three releases can work by itself. And the reason for this is very simple. What you do is you generate the energy of the thing you are working with and you get rid of it. Now you do this at the vital, astral, and mental level. It largely consists of strongly generating a picture of the thing that you wish to get rid of. The process of doing this results in a kind of equalization or neutralization of the issue within your various energetic bodies. Simply put, over time, if you practice this enough, you simply lose the desire to do something. Now, at this point, the use of the MALA method comes into play. Where the MALA method is valuable is it allows you to generate a positive precept that ends up precluding the behavior in question. For example, if you're a smoker and you're trying to quit smoking, you don't want to create a precept that you reinforce that says, I don't smoke, because this creates a negative feedback loop within the body. And to be honest with you, it is simply very uncomfortable. On the other hand, if you use a precept that says something like, I am a non-smoker, this reinforces a healthy habit. So these are the ways you can use a precept combined with the releasing technologies to simply get rid of a bad habit. Now, on the other hand, this doesn't really help you much when you are sucked into your bad habit. One technique that does work very well when you're doing that is simply to vital breathe while you engage in the habit. Over time, it results in a strange effect where again, you neutralize with that thing that you were doing. At that point, you simply don't desire to do it anymore. I have known people who have overcome addictions to pornography and cigarettes very effectively just by vital breathing every time they engaged in the habit. Now again, this probably is not going to help you with something like heroin addiction, because the nature of that habit basically renders you unconscious while you're engaging in it. So again, this has to be a bad habit or addiction that you have that you can actively engage while you're doing it. So to recap, what we've discussed today are three very basic methods for addressing bad habits. One, the MALA method, and this is used to create a counterbalancing positive habit that precludes engaging in your bad habit. Again, using a precept such as, I am a non-smoker, or I eat low carb if you tend to have a problem with overeating, is one such example of a positive way to address this. The releasing techniques, as covered in my free e-course, The Three Releases, and the details for this will be down below in the details of the video, allows you to actively get rid of a bad habit. It utilizes positive visualization in order to simply equalize your energetic bodies with the bad habit. Finally, we get into the issue of simply using poor breathing while you engage in the bad habit. The combination of these three things can have a very potent effect. Now please keep in mind, this is not an immediate effect. It may take a few months or a few weeks in order for the bad habit to go away. Generally what I've found with students who engage this combined method is that over time they notice they simply start doing something less and less and gradually lose their interest in it until one day they realize it has been quite a while since they've engaged that thing. Now, if you quit using these techniques and re-engage your bad habit, you will, of course, end up having the habit again. There's nothing I can do for you regarding that. Additionally, if you have a habit that is physically addictive, such as 
opioids or a severe form of alcoholism, you need to understand that coming off of those types of compounds can be physically dangerous and you will need the help of a medical professional to do that in most cases. So this is not a panacea for bad habits or addictions, but it does give you a roadmap for how you can address the issue in your personal life. Be well.